You probably think we discovered the speed of light in modern times, right? Well, a Muslim scientist in the year 1000 said, Light doesn't move instantly, it has a measurable speed, and no one believed him. His name was Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al hazen in the West. He was a physicist, mathematician, and the father of optics. While Europe was deep in superstition, this guy was running experiments with mirrors, lenses, and light in the 11th century. At the time, people thought vision came from rays shooting out of your eyes, but Ibn al-Haytham proved that vision happens when light enters the eye. He also realized if light takes time to travel then it must have a speed. He didn't calculate the exact number, but just the idea that light wasn't instantaneous, that was revolutionary. It took western science 600 more years to confirm that light has a speed. Even Newton and Galileo didn't fully crack it. Einstein built his theory of relativity on the idea that light speed is constant. But Ibn al-Haytham planted the seed centuries earlier, while living in Cairo under the Islamic rule. We always hear about western scientists, but Muslim scholars like Ibn al-Haytham helped light the path, literally.